All right, welcome back. We're going to take another look at methods. More particularly, we're going to look at methods where the receiver is a pointer. So we have two different methods here, and they're both going to add 5% to the salary. Now, one of them takes a pointer as the receiver, and one of them takes just a regular variable. Now, this data type of employee is just a struct that we created with a name field and a salary field. So the question we need to ask ourselves is do we want to change the struct that we're running this method on? If we do, we want to go ahead and use a pointer. And if we don't, we want to use employee and it will just pass a copy. Now to hammer home the point that it's just passing a copy or creating a copy, let's go ahead and run this code here. So we've created our employee data type and assigned it to Jim. And here we're going to print off the memory address of the salary field inside of Jim. Then we're going to run the does not change struct function. And here we're going to go ahead and print off the memory address of the field salary inside the variable E. And as you can see here, these are two different memory addresses that we're dealing with. So any changes that we do to this memory address will not have an effect on the original memory address. So as you can see here, we add 5% for our salary, reassign it to the salary field, and we print it in here. You can see that the change is made inside the function, but when we get after we get done running this function and we print off gym.salary, it's still only 70,000. It didn't change at all. That's because Inside the function, we were changing this memory address when really we wanted to change this one. So to do that, we're going to need to use a pointer. All right, so we have our, our gym variable again, and we're going to go ahead and print off the memory address of salary again. And this is the other function, the one that uses a pointer. And this one should go ahead and change it. As outside as well. So looking at this, we print off our memory address, which is 4450. And as you can see in here, we make we change the value of our salary, we increase it by 5%. Then we print off the salary field inside the variable E. Now remember this one isn't making a copy. This one's pointing, this is a pointer, so this is the original memory address. As you can see, like I said, we're using the same memory address. So when we print, so obviously when we print off the, the salary, salary field inside the function, well, those changes are also reflected outside the function because we're changing the same location in memory. Now here, in this example, let's just kind of show what, what you can do with this. We've created five different employees, and we're saving them to a slice. And this is a slice of pointers to the data type employee. And we're passing in the memory address for each one of these. And so by doing this, we created a pay raise function, which our workforce or w so this is this function takes two different arguments it takes a slice of pointers to type employee and it takes a percent increase which is just a float 64 so here we passed in our slice of pointers and here we said hey let's go ahead and increase salaries by 10% and we're just going to run a simple for loop on our workforce and it's going to take the salary times our you know take our percent increase you know add it to one and that's going to increase our salary by 10 percent now when we save this to salary being that we're using the same memory address changes that are done inside of here well being it's the same memory address it's, it's changed everywhere so when we come down here and print this final line we should see that the salary for Beth 
which was 50,000, should be changed. All right, so we saw it was 50,000, and even outside the function, it is 55,000 because we changed the we changed it at the memory address. But anyway, it changed it for all of these, but just something to show, let's say uh, a good example, if you had to process a large uh, data set, this can be extremely useful. Um, you can just create a function to perform an action on that data set. So again, just ask yourself, do I want to change? The original struct or do I want to leave it alone? If you do, use a pointer. If you don't, just use a regular variable. All right, I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.